I want to share a book with you called Juneteenth for Maisie, written by Floyd Cooper, and it is about Juneteenth and why we celebrate it. Maisie wants to play outside, but it's too late. It's getting dark, Maisie. It's time to stay inside. Maisie wants a cookie, but it's time for bed. Not now, little one. It's too close to bedtime. Maisie wants to stay up late, but she is too little. Bedtime is the rule, sweet girl. Why so grumpy, sugar bear, asked dad. I can't go where I want, have what I want, or do what I want, answers Maisie. Well, tomorrow you can have a celebration, says dad. What are we celebrating, asked Maisie. We will celebrate the day your great, great, great grandpa Mose crossed into Liberty. The day will be celebrated by us and many more families on a day we call Juneteenth. Dad lifts Maisie into his arms. I bet you're tired of hearing no all the time. Well, great, great, great grandpa Mose heard no even more. Grandpa Mose worked in the fields that stretched all the way to sunset. He and the other slaves would be bone tired, but they had to keep going. Their masters wouldn't let them quit. But as they worked, they thought about freedom. And before they finally went to sleep at night, they prayed about freedom and made plans for change and a better future. Some slaves ran north to freedom, following a bright star in the sky. They sweat. They bled and they cried till those cries were quieted by a single proclamation from a brave president. Grandpa Mose heard that proclamation read from the balcony of the hotel that warm June day in Galveston, Texas. Grandpa Mose heard nothing but cheers, saw nothing but happiness, and felt nothing but pride shared by all those around him. The cheers became dancing. The dancing became celebrating. It went on and on into the night. Grandpa Mose and the others had found freedom. They continued to work, but this time they were paid for their hard work. So they worked and they saved, and they never forgot the moment they heard, the moment that changed their lives forever. But things weren't perfect. Black people still struggled to stand shoulder to shoulder with white people. They still weren't treated as equals. It wasn't easy, but they never gave up and every year on Juneteenth, they remembered. They marched for jobs, they lobbied for schools and the right to vote. They shouted for opportunity. And every year on Juneteenth, they celebrated and remembered. They learned and they grew. They forgave. They excelled and achieved. They became heroes. Now, sweet Maisie, it's your turn to celebrate, just like great, great, great Grandpa Mose. It's your turn, Maisie, to eat some barbecue and drink some strawberry pop. It's your turn to celebrate. And to remember. The end.